I rise today to remember and celebrate a monumental achievement our nation's space program reached 46 years ago this week. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and the entire NASA team transformed the world's belief in what was possible. Following President Kennedy's charge to land a man on the moon and return him safely to the Earth before the decade was over, NASA put their talent and treasure into making that dream a reality. No longer was human discovery and exploration limited to our own planet. The moon, which had always been beyond our human ability to reach, was now within our grasp. This giant leap for mankind propelled American space exploration and inspired generations to pursue science and research as a way of life. Today, human space exploration and discovery sciences are ingrained in American society and are prime demonstrations of our nation's exceptional nature. As Americans, it's in our DNA to push the boundaries and frontiers of knowledge. Developing new technologies and expertise is vital as we consider a mission to Mars, take close-up photos of Pluto, and send robots throughout our solar system. The new generation must now work to fulfill the dreams and ambitions of that first group of space explorers. Let us encourage our children to think seriously about careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Careers that could lead them to become actual rocket scientists or astronauts. Bold, long-term commitments to the programs and projects that made NASA and our space program great will help inspire our kids. The Apollo 11 mission changed America and the world, and we remain forever grateful to those who were a part of that mission. 46 years ago, if the unthinkable occurred and the astronauts never made it back to Earth, President Nixon had a speech prepared to deliver to the nation. If the worst happened, the president would have said, in ancient days, men looked at the stars and saw their heroes in the constellations. In modern times, we do much the same, but our heroes are epic men of flesh and blood. I was honored to meet the members of the Apollo 11 crew, including Neil Armstrong, before he died. Indeed, these men were epic heroes of mine. Many of us grew up in an era where we were proud to be the nation that sent men to the moon, and we still are. Nothing can change that fateful decade of discovery coupled with frustration, trial, coupled with error, all resulting in that historic, world-changing mission. I want our kids and grandkids to look back and be proud citizens of the nation that made our moon hospitable, sent astronauts to Mars, and keep sending spacecraft past the outer reaches of our solar system. Renewed vigor in our country's space program will ensure we continue to make mankind-sized leaps for years to come. I yield back.